Hi, and welcome back to the show. This is just uh, going to be a short little video about a, uh, a Defiance Stanley Handyman uh, wedge vise that uh, I inherited from my father and I've been using uh, off and on for the past 10 years or so. And uh, I've had some questions about it. My hand is resting on it right here. This is the piece, and um, I'll bring the camera in a little closer to show you more. But it basically, uh, like I say, it's a Stanley Handyman uh, uh, wedge vise, it's called. And, um, and it's screwed to the table with three screws, and it's flush with the edge. And the nice thing about it is that it works with a wedge and a stop on the wedge. And I'll uh, go into more about that. But uh, the nice thing about it is that uh, the, the way it works, the... the further you, uh, more pressure you put on it planing, the tighter it actually gets. So it um, really is a nice, quick way of um, being able to work on a piece and all you have to do is tap that back and it's free. So it's that simple. I'll show you some close-ups. Just tap that in and it comes free very loosely. So this is the body of the vise and it's just a V groove with an angled piece, a straight piece. And when you purchase this from Stanley, it came with a, a wedge, a similar wedge to this, except it had a square front and a shorter stop on it. And it didn't have this piece here. And it said Stanley uh, Defiance and the number of the tool that Stanley put out. And Stanley's name is over here. But uh, I inherited this, just this piece. Um, and so... I, I used to use it putting a block of wood in like that and just using it as a stop. And that's fine for a piece that's big enough, but uh, on smaller pieces, it doesn't do anything. So that doesn't serve much of a purpose. So I made this little wedge here, pretty simple wedge, and I used it for a while without this stop, just as a wedge. And um, you see, if you turn it around, it will get tight, but this can slip out. So that's uh, uh, when I added this little stop to it. And the way I did it was, this is a piece of maple, and um, I added a piece of rosewood here, and then uh, I doweled through so that, um, so that it, it, it couldn't be knocked off. And, um, and now, you, you, you'll see how it works is the, you just basically slide up to it and um, you don't really need, you don't really need to do any more pressure than just that. Um, now that seems a little loose, but the second you start using it, um, the pressure of the plane going forward actually tightens this up itself. So, um, it doesn't take a lot of, uh, of pressure. You don't have to bang it in and get it super tight. But when you want to remove it, it's already snug, so all you basically have to do is just take a mallet, tap that, and it's free. It works uh, with short boards um, very nicely. So rather than putting it in the vise and clamping it together, um, here you, if you're going to come uh, back with your plane and you have a lot of pressure on it, you do want to make sure that you tap it forward just to sort of lock it in. And, uh, and then it works fine with those shorter boards. If um, this is a tall board and it, it works fairly well with that, although I would have to say that um, 
um, you, you, you'll determine your own preferences as to how high a board you would put there. I'm not sure you would do anything that short, although, because uh, it might tilt on you, but um, it, it will hold it. Um, on a long board, very simply, you can put the board in the same way, and because this is right on the edge of my table, I can put a nice long six foot board. This one's only about 30 inches, but um, you can see that it works really nice for planing these longer boards and having some nice support all along the board because of the table. And then tap it out. Even a larger board, this thicker board works fine because um, as you can see, it can go up all the way up to about a two and a half inch size or, or, or more up here um, if the board was that wide. It's a nice simple way of being able to hold a board in onto your bench and um, being able to plane it quickly and then free it up. So there you have it. A simple wedge um, and, uh, and a simple solution for holding a board in place on your bench. Um, and, and, it, and it's possible, and a lot of people do, uh, they, they make um, this piece out of a piece of wood with a wedge. Um, and, but these are, these are available on, uh, on the auction sites. And I don't think they're very expensive. I think you can buy them for only around $25 or $30 uh, with the original wedge and everything. So I think it's a worthwhile investment. The only issue I have with it is that it does tend to get in the way on this bench because I have my table saw and I have my other vise here. But uh, with the three screws, I just pull the three screws when I'm doing big flat pieces of wood that have to slide across here and I take this off just for that moment. Um, otherwise, it's, it's a really handy piece and really quick to use. And um, you can put a piece of tape on this face here, and um, you don't need it on this side, but you could put a piece of tape on this face here, and I've done that when I had a piece of wood that I was a little worried about scarring up the edges. But you can see all these pieces that I put in here, and, um, and use the pressure really is more forward and not this way and you, you get a little bit of marks there from sliding up against that but not much and no indentation so a light cleaning that would come off so a simple device well worth having and you can make your own like I talked about some people doing but you can locate these online auctions and you can find them and uh, and uh, I suggest looking at the uh, can I have it vintage tool auction on Facebook because there's a lot of different woodworkers and tool collectors that are always putting up interesting items every weekend and uh, who knows, you might find one of these there, and uh, it's a good place to go to. It's a good group of people, and uh, I think on Tuesdays, they have, uh, there's one day a week, you have to look it up, but uh, there's one day a week that they have a Can I Have It day, and it might be Wednesday, and you can post, I'm looking for this, 
and maybe somebody has it and they'll put it up on the auction that weekend. So uh, uh, take a look and uh, see if you can locate them because it's really a very handy tool and uh, you can see it works very well. Thanks for joining me in the shop. I told you this would be a short one. Um, enjoy your woodworking. Stay safe. Have a great holiday. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah and any other holiday that you celebrate. Stay safe and stay warm this winter. Hope to see you again soon.